WWE All Stars is over the top rope action with an over the top look. A somewhat homage to the crazy days of the Smackdown series. But should this get you pumped up or is it a protein shake disaster? You are making the biggest mistake of your life. All Stars comes with all the modes you expect from a wrestling game. All your standard exhibition matchups are here, as well as tornado tag, steel cage matches, extreme rules, and elimination rules. As for an actual career mode, you've got two options. Either take on the Path of Champions, which has you playing a superstar of your choice in a ladder of 10 matches until you compete against the appropriate superstar. This can also be played in a tag team against D-Generation X. With zero story present, it's not what we'd call a story. All you get are cutscenes of the champion gloating about how awesome they are and Paul Bearer's rather immaculate voice. Are you ready? Are you ready to face my Undertaker? Your second option is to take part in Fantasy Warfare, which are matches pitting you against superstars and legends. The best thing about this mode is the stock WWE footage. Built like the over-the-top pay-per-view montages, it really makes you want to play the fight and watch some WWE afterwards. We preferred Fantasy Warfare. Who is the greatest warrior of all time? There can be only one. If you get bored, you can always take your game online and challenge a friend, with the option of ranked and unranked matches. Don't expect a smooth ride though, we had latency issues as well as frequent button mashes ruining our day. Oh yes, Judgment Day is here! Your casket is finished, just in time for SummerSlam! Right then, gameplay. This isn't your standard WWE game. Well, you can tell by just looking at it. It's rather mad. Once again, the controls have been changed with this game being more aimed at the Street Fighter fan in you, with even mad cats getting involved with some official peripherals. And with that, expect no ringside countouts and your wrestler coming equipped with an all new health bar. The health bar is there so that when low, it gives you the chance to pull off your all-star finisher and end the game with a KO. Each wrestler is given a class, from being acrobatic, jumping around the turnbuckles and landing airborne attacks, being a brawler, punching dudes in the face, being a big man, just being that big obnoxious guy, or by being a grappler and chaining all your moves together in a rather artistic way, causing pain. These make each wrestler somewhat fresh to play with, but we did find some heavy balancing issues leaning towards being an acrobatic superstar. The main issue is that, in order to pull off your finisher move, you must allow your player to first taunt the opponent and then go for the grapple, which will land you your finisher. However, with the acrobatic superstars, they can simply pull off most of their finishing moves by activating them and flying stupid distances from the turnbuckle. And yes, if your player is low on health, that's pretty much game over. We found this truly annoying, especially when playing online. Otherwise, the game is a lot of fun, and you'll probably find yourself wanting to complete every achievement necessary, as the game really doesn't pack a lot of content to complete. Perhaps so, but tonight, it's time to celebrate! Overall then, for big fans of WWE, you'll feel right at home. It's definitely another game to add to your collection. On the other hand, we are concerned about the longevity of the game. Once you finish the two main modes, you're pretty much done with this one. But while it lasts, it's worth an 8 out of 10.